Right now it looks questionable because we haven't blended it yet, okay? So, I'm, you know what, I'm impatient. Let's just cover this up and let this cook. Yay, I'm not nervous at all, okay. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today we're doing another cook with me and today's gonna be an interesting one because I wanted to try and make a dish just without any sort of recipe or plan. Like I know what I wanna make, but I'm just gonna make it without anything. I have no actual measurements or anything, but I'm just gonna go with the flow type of thing. So today I wanted to make a cauliflower mac and cheese recipe and this should be rather interesting. So I like to use cauliflower quite often for, you know, any sort of creamy sauces. So I have made like cauliflower alfredo and stuff like that and it's really, really great. People are very surprised that you can basically make a cream out of cauliflower. And today I thought it would be fun to take it to the next step and bake a cauliflower mac and cheese. So basically using cauliflower as kind of the cheese. I know, you're like, what? What are you talking about, Rose? Just, well, I mean, I can't promise it's gonna turn out because we haven't made it yet and I don't know what I'm doing. So let's see what happens. But yes, I thought this would be fun. So I'm very excited and nervous at the same time. Let's get started. So first I do have some ingredients like sitting here so that I can at least be somewhat prepared. Like I don't actually know how much of which I'm gonna add. I do have an idea of what I want to add based on just like my experience of cooking and stuff. So I do have some stuff here but we don't know exactly how much of everything we're gonna do, but we're just gonna give it a go. So I've got a pan here that is heating up, and on the pan, we're gonna cook some stuff. All right, guys, so first, what I'm going to do first, I already have the water just coming to a boil, and in the meantime, we can make the sauce. So I think we're gonna start with some vegan butter. So I have just a little stick here of vegan butter. We're just gonna add maybe about a tablespoon worth of vegan, ooh, that's quite a lot, okay. Um, you probably don't need this much, but you know what? I wanna make it tasty, I wanna make sure that it tastes good. So we're gonna melt that. That's actually quite a bit, it's like more than a tablespoon. Oh well, who cares? Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then let's chuck in some onions. I have this like leftover red onion situation. I feel like I can just use it. We're gonna blend everything. I'm envisioning, well, I mean, I have to blend it because we're using cauliflower. So let's add some red onion. This is about maybe a quarter of a red onion. You can use just regular onion. So let's just cook that up a little bit. Maybe I should have just used a regular onion, I don't know. So let's let that sizzle, cook up. And then of course, you gotta have garlic. I have some minced garlic here. And we're gonna add quite a bit. We're gonna do probably about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Mm -hmm. You can never have too much garlic. I mean, you can. You can give yourself a stomach ache. Don't do that, okay? So we're just gonna cook that. Leave me a comment down below. Like, have you guys made a cauliflower like pasta sauce, a cauliflower alfredo sauce? Is this the first time you've heard that you could do that? Let me know. Because I remember the first time I heard that you could make like an alfredo sauce out of cauliflower. I was like, what? And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God, that is life changing. So there you go. And now we're just gonna add some cauliflower. To be honest, I wanted to do this video because I just have a lot of cauliflower and I'm like, I need to use it. So we're gonna do maybe like, I don't know, how much is this? Two cups? We'll do two cups of cauliflower, a prox. What am I doing? I feel like I need to let this like cook with some water. I'm gonna add some water. Or should I add some, oh, no, 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 not water. Almond milk. I have some almond milk. Okay. I kind of want to brown the cauliflower, but I also feel like I'm gonna burn the garlic because this is a stressful situation. You know what? I'm going to add just a little splash of water for now. Let's just add half a cup of almond milk. This is like sweetened. I know people have a thing with like using sweetened stuff for savory recipes, but honestly, it makes no difference. I always use sweetened, you know, dairy, like non-dairy milks and it's fine, okay? It's not gonna kill you. Anyways, we're gonna bring this to a boil. In the meantime, let's add some seasoning, some spices. I think we're gonna do, of course we have to do nutritional yeast. So I think we're gonna do like a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Do I even want to measure? No. 
I'm gonna eyeball quarter cup. You really, it doesn't, like, it can be a lot, okay? Maybe that's like a third cup, who knows? Quarter cup, third cup, it doesn't really matter. Next, I'm also gonna add some onion powder, maybe about half a tablespoon or so. Some onion powder, garlic powder, of course, I know. I already added garlic, oh my god, but garlic is tasty. And I like to add extra garlic powder, maybe another half a tablespoon or a teaspoon. We're gonna also add some ground turmeric. The turmeric is gonna give this a very nice yellow color. But it's a very strong taste, so you don't wanna add too, too much. I'm gonna probably do, this is about maybe less than a teaspoon, maybe like half a teaspoon. Maybe this is a teaspoon, I don't know. Half a teaspoon, okay? We're also gonna add a little bit, little bit of paprika. I'm gonna just do this one like a very small amount, like a quarter teaspoon, you know? Little bit of paprika. It looks like our water is almost boiling. Not yet, almost. I'm just gonna mix this. I'm nervous. I feel like I've already screwed up, I don't know why. I feel like I needed to let the cauliflower cook first before adding the spices. <gasps> you know what, it's gonna be okay. Next thing guys, this is very important. Veggie stock cube. When in doubt, add a veggie stock cube. This thing has a lot of flavor. This is basically like a hack to make everything just kind of have extra flavor. I think I'm just gonna add half of a veggie stock cube because I don't want it to be overly salty. I don't know why I had a brain fart situation. So we're just gonna break this up and this is gonna give this a lot of flavor. So yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna mix this and the water is boiling, so I'm gonna add the pasta. Pasta time! Yay. I feel like I need to add another cup of non-dairy milk in this one. Yeah, one more cup of non-dairy milk. We want this creamy, so let's do one more cup. So there you go. There you go. So now, what I'm gonna do is just give this a nice stir. I'm gonna cover this up and let this cook. Okay, so we want the cauliflower to basically, you know, soften so that it becomes it becomes nice and soft. <laughs> what? <laughs> we want to cook up the cauliflower. Okay, why do I why do I make this so difficult for myself? Anyways, so yeah, I'm just gonna make sure everything is mixed together really well. All right, so you know I'm gonna wait till it comes to a boil before I cover this up. Bring this to a boil and then cover it up and then cook it until the cauliflower has finished cooking, which will probably take about I don't know. 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And then when it's soft, you can blend it up and then that's gonna be the sauce. And hopefully it's tasty, I have no idea. This, um, right now it looks questionable because we haven't blended it yet, okay? So, I'm, you know what, I'm impatient. Let's just cover this up and let this cook. Yay, I'm not nervous at all, okay. Okay guys, so it's kind of reduced. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Ooh, well it's soft. I don't know if I need, to, you know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add I'm just gonna add about like half a cup of water and just boil it for a little longer for maybe another five minutes because I just wanna make sure that it is like really soft but it's getting there guys. I don't know if it'll taste like mac and cheese. We'll see, okay, we'll see. Cover, oh, that's not it, this lid. All right guys, so it looks like, I think we're pretty much ready. I'm just gonna do a little pokeage. Yeah, it goes in really smoothly on most parts. So I think to me that's good enough, okay? I'm impatient, what can I say? So yes, that there's my mixture. We're gonna throw this in the blender and hope for the best. I don't really know what's gonna happen to be honest, but I have a good attitude about it. So we're gonna throw it in and, um, oh God. Please don't burn yourself. Oh. All right guys, so now we have it in there and I'm just gonna blend it until it's nice and smooth. Okay, Oops. let's have a look. I'm scared. Woo! Kind of smells like cauliflower. That's a problem. Tastes good. I don't know if it tastes like mac and cheese though. That's the problem. Okay guys, I feel like I want this to be more smooth. So you know what, I'm gonna add some more. I mean, now I have regrets. I think I, in hindsight, I would have added some cashews 
into the mixture and boiled that together and then it would have been a lot more creamy but now it's too late we can't add cashews so i have some leftover milk this just has a little bit left <laughs> that was like a tablespoon okay better than nothing okay and i want more of that cheesy taste so i'm gonna add some more nutritional yeast i i always feel like if i add vegan cheese in a recipe it's like kind of cheating because it's like you're just using vegan cheese, you know? But let's mix this up first. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's give this, uh, scrape this down, give this a taste. Mmm, mmm, nutritional yeast. So good. Okay, it's coming, it's coming along. I know what I need, guys. I need some lemon juice. Okay, and also vegan yogurt. Hopefully this will fix the situation. I mean, again, it's, it's not bad. I just feel like we could use some fixing, you know? I'm just gonna use this almond-based plain vegan yogurt. So I'm just gonna use, let's just start with like a quarter cup. I don't wanna put too much. So just a quarter cup of the almond milk yogurt. Throw that in there. I mean, that should be kind of like a substitute for the cashew situation. You know, maybe, potentially, possibly. Okay, so we got the almond milk. We're gonna add a few little drops of lemon juice. Maybe like one tablespoon. I thought of another thing that I wanna add. <laughs> Dijon, yes, Dijon mustard. We're gonna do a tablespoon. Ish. There we go. Okay, so now, hopefully I didn't screw up this mixture. <laughs> Let's blend this again, okay. Okay guys, so it definitely looks a lot more creamy, which is very exciting. Ooh, okay, so have a look at that. That looks good. Beautiful, okay, I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm kinda scared. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, mm-hmm. It almost has like that cheesy taste actually. Mm -mm. Mm. I think this could fly. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back to this pan situation. We have the cooked pasta. I wish I saved some of the pasta water, which I did not, because I'm very smart. And then I think this could do about two servings. So um, I'm just gonna throw in about half. Ooh, my friends. I mean, come on. That looks like mac and cheese. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely needed that lemon juice and also I think the yogurt helped a lot to make this really creamy. The lemon juice gave a nice tang to it to give it that kind of cheesy tang. Ooh, I'm so excited for this actually. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like let this come to a nice little boil and then, not a boil, like a little, you know, a little, little, little sum sum. And then just heat this up and then we can try it. Okay guys, so I decided because I'm a bit cheeky. We're gonna add a little bit of vegan cheese. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. I feel like you can eat it without, but we wanna make it extra cheesy. I'm just gonna add just a small amount. Okay, maybe about, I don't know, not even a quarter cup, okay? So we added that, and I also really wanna add some simulated bacon bits. FYI, this is actually vegan. This is actually vegan, okay, if you did not know. Well, maybe not everywhere, but where I live, it's vegan, okay? So we're gonna have just some bacon bits. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe about a tablespoon. So then I'm just gonna mix this up, let that cheese melt. Mmm, I am very impressed. I actually thought this might be a fail for a second, but I prevailed, okay? Okay, we saved ourselves. So let's just let this cheese melt and then we can plate it. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. It's nice and kind of cheesy. It looks cheesy. Let's plate it. Okay. Ooh. Wow, it's actually so creamy. Look at that. So now, mm. We're gonna add some more bacon bits. There you go, there's my kind of makeshift cauliflower mac and cheese situation. I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna have to do a little taste test though. Here's the finished product. 
very exciting. I'm actually really impressed at how creamy it turned out and I'm just impressed with the color. I'm glad it's super yellow and um, let's give this a try. Ooh. Mm. It's so good. Lots of flavors. Oh, and those bacon bits go really well with this as well. Mm. It's really creamy. That yogurt really helped a lot. And, oh my god. Mm. This actually tastes mac and cheesy. It doesn't taste healthy at all and I think people will be really shocked if you tell them that there's cauliflower in this because it honestly you can't even tell like you can make this for kids and feed them cauliflower and they wouldn't even know I promise so just to recap if you wanted to make this like creamy without using the yogurt then you could actually add some cashews in with the cauliflower and just soften it with the cauliflower and then blend it and cashews are really going to make this really creamy as well um, but the yogurt works as a really good ingredient as well it almost also enhances that tangy flavor so it almost tastes like a little more cheesy and oh my god it's so good you guys i hope you guys try this out um, i'm gonna try to see if i can write up the recipe for this somehow <laughs> i'll try okay i will try anyways there's my cauliflower mac and cheese made without a recipe yay all right you guys so that is it for my cook with me no recipes edition and me just trying to make whatever without a recipe if you guys enjoyed this sort of video let me know down below and maybe you can suggest something i can make without a recipe and i can try to do that okay anyways if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye